Chabani fit. And as you can see, somebody else wants some too. She actually likes yogurt. <laughs> Chabani fit yogurt. So what I'll do is I'll eat some and I'll give her actually I should have got a bowl for her. I'll, <laughs> I'll um try <laughs> I'll have some and then I'll leave her a little bit in the container. So here comes the other cat, but she's not interested. So what we got in this range, they were actually, just wait, be patient. They're $1.50 this week at the supermarket. And normally they're $2.25. I think they were 30% off or 40%. I can't remember. 30%, I think. So this one is a blueberry. We got raspberry. I've got to be careful, too. We've got the camera here. And I'll, if I bump the table, it's going to be a bit shaky. Ah. There's a microphone, yeah, but it's not happening tonight. But anyway, um, that one is just a vanilla, plain. That's mango. And that is passion fruit. So we've got strawberry, raspberry, vanilla, blueberry, mango, and passion fruit. So, which one would you like to try first? I reckon you like strawberries. Actually, I'll put that there. Have to be careful of that bumper. Let's try strawberry first. Pop, everyone, this is Poppy if you haven't seen her before in any of my videos. It's very hard to get her to behave herself when I'm in here and I look like I'm talking to myself, which I'm really not. Love those yogurts. Oh, as soon as I open that, look at her. She knows what the sound is. <laughs> as soon as I open that, I can smell that strawberry. Pop, settle down. Look, you can have a little bit of that. There you go. You want some? She hasn't actually had yogurt for a long time because I don't eat it that much anymore. She used to like it before. That's a bit hard to get off that piece, isn't it? It must be quite thick, this stuff. The thing with this too is, I mean, I know I'm touching the cat, but I'm not touching the food. So I actually saw someone a little while ago doing a video where they were actually touching this dog and letting this dog lick him and everything. And I was just waiting for it. And they actually put something in the hand and ate it. It's like after touching this dog. That was terrible. Anyway, this looks nice, like nice and thick stuff. A bit like fruit, I suppose. 
haven't had fruit for a long time. If you remember that fruit, I don't know if they still make it. It's not very sweet though. <laughs> it does say no sugar. <laughs> well, I'm already disappointed, sorry. It smelled good, but I like things nice and sweet. That's why she's not eating it, I think. She likes yogurt too. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? I've tried to have my cat in the video tonight. And what I'm going to do, if she starts carrying on and whinging, that window over there, I'm going to open it and throw her out. I've done it before. <laughs> not, on the, not on the video, but just before I started one, once she started carrying on. And don't worry, if I do throw her out the window, it's only, it's only that high, so she's not going to be going off two stories or something like that. You're back, Riley. Where'd you go? Stephanie Gomez, you're hungry. Well, you probably wouldn't like these. I don't know. Do people actually like these things? I'm actually um, Chris D. I know you're here. I ran into you today and you said your wife or your missus likes these, but I've never tried them before. So far, I'm not too impressed. Toilet. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> So I really thought that she was going to sit here and eat these with me. And I don't think she's going to be too interested either. Well, she tried some. She actually does like yogurt. But I haven't tried these before. And they're a little bit... Well, it says no sugar. so And they actually taste like there's no sugar in it. But she, um, she usually likes yogurt. I haven't had yogurt for ages. So when I used to eat it, she used to love it. Mix it up. Well, I'll give that a go. There's not all that much left in there now. Not my, not my thing really. But I actually like yogurt even though I haven't had it for a while. But I like it really sweet too. I know that's not a good thing. But hmm, I don't know that one. Fuck's sake. I better turn Alexa off. I've said her name now, she's gonna talk. She can go off. Anyway. Well, I tried that and for me it's I think it's just me. I'm not I'm not mad about that. This one's probably gonna hope that she gets one nice one out of the five too. I think that's why she doesn't like it. It's not sweet. Vanilla, let's try vanilla pop. Do you wanna try vanilla? She knows that sound. It's been so long since I've opened yogurt and she knows that lid sound. Anyway, let's see what this one's like. Oh, it could be. I'll check it out. But the vanilla, that's not going to have anything, I suppose. I'll lick a little bit instead of you licking it, Pop. See what it's like. Want to try that one? No. And she likes yogurt. <laughs> well, i got to say, not mad about that one. We'll never buy it again. But I have a feeling they're all going to be like that. Yeah, well, you want to skip on this yogurt? I tell you, it's not what I thought it was going to be. I've never tried it before. It was on special dollar fifty this week. Normally two dollars twenty-five. Even the cat won't eat it, and she actually likes yogurt. She'll have a little bit at the bottom of the container when I finished. She's not mad about it either. She wants some, she, but she's not eating it. Same deal. No sugar. I suppose I did see that no sugar on there, but I just thought maybe it had some sort of substitute. Oh, it's actually no added sugar, so it's got probably some sugar, but because I like things really sweet, I can't taste it. Oh, I actually was looking forward to them. You saw how excited I was when you saw me today. <laughs> nah, I wasn't really excited. I was just running around doing other things. I made another video after I saw you, just a quick one, which I'll post in a couple of days. But yeah, I was looking forward to it though. I'll just leave it as it is because I'm trying to review it. So, But I'm pretty much thinking that they're all going to be crap. <laughs> I'm not going to finish them all off, but I could put something in them later. I actually might put some chocolate topping in that one. It might taste better. Well, my cat's very disappointed too. Look, she's turned her back on me. She's not interested. 
At least she's behaving herself, so that's the main thing. Back again? Man, what's wrong with you, Riley? What's going on? Now, that. I said that was... No, no, that's right. I had strawberry, vanilla, blueberry. I might try the mango. See how that goes. I just thought maybe the strawberry, you know, if you had some nice strawberries in there, some nice flavoured strawberries, you'd get that natural sugar as well, but it doesn't really taste like much at all. Okay. Mango, you never know. This could be something. Well, I haven't eaten yogurt for ages, and, you know, even just plain old yogurt, even if it was vanilla, it usually tastes better than that. But that, that has got some bits in it. The strawberry one didn't, actually. Maybe they forgot to put the bits in it. That's got a little bit. That's, so far, probably the best one of the three. It's got a little bit of flavour too. There's some little bits in it. Would you eat that one, Pop? You reckon you'd eat that one? Hmm? I'll leave you a little bit. I don't think you're going to eat it though. Cal Caligula. I can't even talk properly because I'm eating yogurt. Caligula, what's cracking? <laughs> you're a busy boy, Riley. You've got too much to do. Probably just got uh, got home from school and doing all this stuff, I suppose. I'm doing that too all the time, plugging this in, getting onto that, all these devices going. Then the bloody cats, you got to look after them as well. Okay, well, if someone gave me that one, I'd probably eat it, but I wouldn't buy it again. You're still purring away, aren't you? You want some? Do some cat ASMR. Not being very loud. You disappointed, Pop? You wanted that yogurt? Actually, I bought these home this afternoon. And I put them in the fridge, and I had the table here, and she was sitting on this chair. This is my computer chair, and every time I get up, well, not every time, but all the time when I get up, even at night, she sits on it. Maybe because it's my chair, I don't know. And sometimes when I'm here on my own doing lives, I have it set up differently, of course, and I get the chair, and because it goes up and down, I put it down so I'm more in the picture. So I've got it up at the moment, the chair. But she loves this chair. Every time I get up, sometimes I just get up to go to the toilet or go out to do something, and I come back in and she's on the chair. Oh, it's school holidays. I heard they were coming up, but now Liam doesn't go to school. I can never remember. Well, that's good. Good for you. What are two weeks off? Well, I tell you, Caligula, if you get, yogurt makes you puke, you probably would do really well with this one. It wouldn't stay down long, probably. Or all of them, actually, so far. And that one, actually, to me, does taste like it's got some sort of artificial sweetener in it, even though it's not that sweet. It doesn't taste right. <laughs> and they're not out of date, either, because I got them in a spot where, and I actually looked at the dates, they've got really good dates on them, they're pretty fresh. So, and they're being cold, they don't taste off or anything, so I'm going to turn you back on me again. Hey? Sorry to disappoint you like that, Pop, but at least finally she's in a video. Even she's been requested to be in a video or a live. <laughs> After 1.30, you're, you're keeping my hours, Steam Bean. It's um, 6.40 here. I'll probably be doing this for about another 20 minutes at least, and then I've got to head off and do some things myself. Yes, Caligula does have an interesting channel. <laughs> yes. Glad you checked it out, Chris. Yeah, 6.40 there too. You're in Melbourne, aren't you, Riley? That's right. Yeah, I'm coming down there one day to see all you guys. I don't know when, but one day. Look at her big eyes. She's just hoping that something changes here, aren't you? Hey? I was saying, I did a live last night, and I've got that tuna stuff, the vegan tuna. And I'm planning on, because she likes tuna, a, bit, a little bit of tuna too. I'm planning on trying to get her to sit like this when I eat the vegan tuna. And see if she'll try that. Because um, she'll know, probably know if it's, like it's not real tuna of course, but she'll know, probably. Yeah, I've got, one of them's got spring water, one's got chilli. And the other one, I can't remember what it is, but I'll know when I look at it. Um, oh, lemon pepper. So I've got three different tins. I'm going to put them with salad. 
but I'm going to try her with the spring water one, and I don't think she'll eat it, but we'll see what happens. 4.41 p.m. with Stephanie. Is that Philippines, I think? You can eat a child. <laughs> I tell you, I'm not that hungry at the moment either. I'm not probably not going to eat all these. I'll probably put them in a container all together and eat them later. I will eat them because I'm not going to waste them. They're not horrible. They're just not, not that great. So... Um, I'm not that hungry because I made a little Domino's video earlier today and actually don't feel too bad now but I wouldn't if I eat all these I'm going to be full again I'm going to finish this one because why I want to finish it too is I want to see if Poppy will have will lick the inside of it because that's what she used to do a lot if I'd have a container of yogurt, I'd give her the container when it was finished and she'd lick all the bits inside. So, I'll give that a go. You got a haircut today, actually. I made a bit a comment on someone's video about that was doing something about hair. And I said, I've got to get a bloody haircut myself soon. I keep thinking about it, but I never get to it. Hello, Aussie Dream Filipina expat. How's Daddy tonight? How's he going? What are you cooking for him for dinner tonight? You look after him so well. That's why I love watching your videos. <laughs> Fish. Fish, that sounds good. Are you doing a video about it? Fish and salad, that's good. Now all my notifications are coming up, I can't see anything. Got to get rid of them. So are you doing a video about it? Because if you are, or oh, you said yes, I'll check it out later when you post it. I like watching your videos. I saw you were making a pizza one today, but I've been that busy. I started watching it, and then I had to go and do something else. I just couldn't get back to it, but I watched the, the fish one. I liked that. It's good when you, like with me, if I was making something or like having some yogurt or whatever, you can just make a video about it. But you do a lot of good cooking ones. You're a good cook. I like it. So many notifications. That's why I like to do the lives. I uh, do a bit of cooking. It's interesting for people to watch if, they, if they're into that sort of thing. It is a food channel and reviewing channel. So it's good to... I just think whenever I make a video or do something like this, it's got to involve food. And like this, it's involving food. Even if it's junk food... You know, ice cream, yogurt, good food, doesn't matter, salad. So anyway, that's not too bad. And Poppy's turned her back on me again. Pop, I'm try that, I'm try that. Come on, come on, try it. Come on. She knows it's rubbish. <laughs> What I'll do one day, I mean, I don't feel bad for her. I don't feel bad for me. We both know we're not missing out on anything here. But one day I'll buy a little, a nice little tub of yogurt when she's on a live with me. And I'll eat yogurt for dessert when I'm doing something else. And she can have some yogurt with me. <laughs> no, seafood and salad's good. But I make before. Actually, I've got some uh, fish in the fridge I could make, but one time, and salad. What was that thing I made the other week? Oh, a little while ago, salad with something. Well, you want, look, every time I open the lid, she gets excited. You can't see her down there. She's like, maybe I'll try another one, see what that one's like. <laughs> Pop, are you getting excited? Hey, I know she's purring away down there. Non-can, yeah, well, these are tuna ones that I want to try. They're actually not even fish, they're actually plant-based so it's like a vegan thing do you want some she knows that sound actually now i'm getting that taste like afterwards it's not too bad that um mango one this one is passion fruit oh it actually is greek yogurt i never noticed that that's why it tastes so crap anyway people seem to be into greek yogurt lately want to try that Go 
give it a go. She's trying. She wants to. She wants to. Go on. Get it. Get in there, Pop. Get in there. No, nah, it's just shit, isn't it? <laughs> no, nah, she wants it, but she doesn't want it. She knows what it is. There she goes. She's getting into it. Good girl. No. Nah. No, nah, forget it. Anyway, guys, as usual, I don't do my research. I do my research afterwards. I'm looking at this thing now. I was actually going to have a quick look at what it said on it before I started, and I didn't. So I'm running around doing other things. But anyway, it is Greek yogurt, and that it just explains everything, why it doesn't taste so good. It's non, no added sugar. If you like Greek yogurt, well, then you probably would like this. So, But I'm going to eat them anyway. Well, she looks big, but actually she's not that big. She's very furry. And when it's warmer weather and she loses her fur a bit and not so furry, she's actually not a very big cat. But she is beautiful and she's very furry and fluffy. But she needs it up here because it's quite cold. Keeps her warm. Hello, Danny G. How are you? How old is the cat? Oh, I'd say about maybe eight, maybe nine. She's getting on a bit. She's still pretty active, but she's getting on a bit. Come over closer. Come and see the people, Pop. So anyway, it's Greek yogurt. So there we go. That's And what happened was earlier today, before I went out and did a few things and went and got these, I was watching someone, an Aussie girl. She was going live. And I don't know if it was the first time or she'd done it before, but I just happened to catch her live. We subscribed to each other a few days ago. And she was actually eating this for breakfast, so she was trying to eat healthy too, I guess. And I was just watching it for a couple of minutes. And, I just, and she said they were on special this week, and I thought, oh, that's right, they are. And I've never tried them before, so they go on special like every two or three weeks. So I thought, I'll give them a go. Anyway, I won't judge them so much now, I know they're Greek yogurt. G'day, Biggie's support group. How are you? Great to have you here. Now I can say it's Greek, Greek yogurt. I'm eating Chobani Fit Greek yogurt, and that's probably why it's fit, because it's Greek. Like, no no added sugar, that sort of yogurt. Anyway, I better get on with this, otherwise we're never gonna, I'm never going to try them. You love Greek yogurt. Well, then you probably would like this. I didn't realise at first. I just bought them because they were on special and thought I'll do a little review on them because I'm pretty sure they are pretty popular here. Let me know any, if any of you guys have tried that Chobani Fit Greek yogurt. No added sugar. I'm not a big Greek yogurt person, but, you know, it's not too bad. Well, I'm not mad about it, but like I said earlier, I didn't realise it was Greek yogurt until I bought it, until I just looked now, but I didn't look at it properly. I just got it because it's on special and I know it's a bit popular, so. My cat's disappointed. She eats yogurt. She won't touch it. This one, maybe. I've got to say, each one I have, they're probably getting a little bit better. It depends what, I, what I'm eating, but the mango wasn't too bad. Strawberry didn't have much of a strawberry taste. That was a problem. Even though it's no added sugar, it didn't taste much like strawberry. That's probably because most of these strawberries they put in yogurt nowadays don't have any flavour. Not like ones you grow in the garden yourself. So anyway... She's gone back to sleep. She knows it's a waste of time trying to have any of this. But at least she's behaving herself. I was saying earlier that if she's usually in when I do a live, she whinges and carries on and wants to go out. Maybe she's getting used to it too. And I usually chuck her out before I do it if she's in. So that one's raspberry. I can't... I've got to say, if you ate, and ra ate a raspberry and then tasted this... It doesn't taste like a raspberry. So far of all of them, the mango tasted more like mango, but the rest... Oh, and vanilla, I suppose, tastes like pretty just plain, but the other two, raspberry and strawberry, didn't taste like much at all. Get rid of that. So guys, if you're in Australia and you like these sort of things, you can get them on special this week. $1.55, $1.50, sorry. So that's, I, I don't know if in other supermarkets there's more varieties, but I could find six of them. And for $1.50 each, I thought, why not to make a video? So this one, passion fruit. 
I'm expecting big things from this one, but I'm probably going to be disappointed again. I can see some passion fruit bits in there. They're good. Everyone keeps saying they're good, but I don't like them. <laughs> but I was saying earlier, I bought them as I was watching someone's live this morning. And she said they were on special at the supermarket. And I was going out today anyway to do some shopping and stuff. And But I didn't realize they were Greek yogurt. <laughs> and I can't say I'm mad about Greek yogurt. And even though they're different flavors, I can't taste really much different flavors in there. But I only just noticed as we were doing it that they were Greek yogurt. But if you like Greek yogurt, I suppose they're pretty good. They are cheap, $1.50. Normally, $2.25 they were. I'm not on special. I think it was 30% off or something. I can't remember, 30, 40. Probably 30, it sounds like, at that price. The vanilla one, yeah. Well, I, I finished off the mango because I don't want to finish them all off. I'll eat them later. I'll put them all in a container, but you haven't seen, but you probably can't see her there, but I've got my cat here. Come up. And she likes yogurt, and she won't touch them. <laughs> but then, then she's never had Greek yogurt before either. She's, hey, she's attacking me now. Don't attack. Don't attack. I shouldn't play with her because then she'll muck up and then she'll want to go out. Stop it. Stop. That's enough. Hey, stop. Stop it. G'day, Peter. I've made the mistake of having my cat in here and you can't see her down here, which is, uh, she's actually attacking me now. She's too playful sometimes. Anyway, trying Jabani yogurt. Now, Peter, tell me, have you tried this Jabani Fit Greek yogurt? And I was saying earlier, I've said a few times now because people keep coming in, but I feel like I have to explain it now. I didn't realize it was Greek yogurt. Not a fan of Greek yogurt, but these are okay. Not something I buy again even on special, but they're okay. G'day, Tim. What's cracking? Nice to have you here. I just had my cat attack me. She's bloody put her claws in me. Yeah, well, I've said that in a few videos where I, ch I put her out usually if I, um, I'm starting a video if she's in. But if she starts tonight, that window there is not very high. And I've done it before, just before I started a live. I opened the window and chucked her out because she started mucking up. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit full on. And you can't really taste much of the fruit that's supposed to be in there. I mean, that's... That's passion fruit, and it doesn't even taste anything like any passion fruit. Just pretty much plain, almost plain with a bit of flavour in it. But it, yeah, like I said, I, you know, I'm not a yogurt person much anymore. I used to eat a lot of yogurt, but I thought, why not do something different? I'm always trying to switch it up and change things a bit and make it different. So, but like I said, I didn't know it was Greek yogurt, so I'll just have to suffer here. Because I can't throw it out. And I wouldn't anyway, it cost me nine bucks all up, so dollar fifty each. Actually, I've got some apples over there. I might later on chop up some apples and mix everything together and put some apples in it. I haven't got much fruit here at the moment. Yeah, this is a little bit intense for me, but it's okay. I mean, I could eat one here and there, but I wouldn't actually go out and buy it, even though it's got a little bit of... You can see a pineapple, not pineapple, what am I talking about? Passion fruit piece in there, like the seed, but there's not much of a passion fruit taste to this one. Anyway, that one's not too bad. They're all okay, but I found the mango one probably was the tastiest. And hopefully I've saved the best till last here, because I do like blueberries. It would be good if I had some blueberries. I should have bought some punnet today and I could have chucked them in everything. Blueberries. Let's give it a go. You coming back for more? She hears, she likes, she hears that noise and she thinks, there's, oh, another one. Want to try again? No. She knows better. She doesn't want it. So this one, it's very colourful, but will it be very tasty? Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Got a Big Mac under the table. Here she is. So every time I take a lid off, she loves yogurt, but she won't touch these things. She's never tried Greek yogurt before. That's because I don't buy it. He's back again for another try, are you? Or are you going to attack me again? So, Harv, are you back from Thailand? I haven't been catching up with anyone at the moment. I've been too busy doing other stuff. I will get back to all this. I like the colour. It's a nice colour. Do you like the colour? Hey. Hey. Do you like the colour? Six. I didn't know, like I was saying earlier, if you know of more varieties, let me know. Not that I'm going to try them, but... Unless I missed one, all I could see was six there. But I could have missed one. I was looking pretty hard, though. Uh, home alive, that's good. <laughs> Looks like you're having a good time over there, though. So that's good. Oh, that's right. Yeah, well, you're right then, six. I did look pretty hard in case I missed any. Because there's another brand... I think it's a Danone and it looks very similar, so I was trying to make sure I got all the right brand. What are you doing? My other cat's in here and she's looking at her. She wants to attack her. They better not start. They both go out the window. Okay. Don't start. Okay. Now, that one, it's very colourful. It's got lots of bits in it. The blueberry bits. And it doesn't really have much taste either, but... I'm not complaining about it now. I know it's Greek yogurt. I get why it tastes like it doesn't taste too good. Like for me, anyway. <laughs> the pantry on YouTube. How you going, Fuzz? What's cracking? Good idea. Yeah, I've got to say, I won't probably be doing any more yogurt reviews. Like I said, I saw this girl eating it this morning and she said that it was on sale at the supermarket and I was going out, so I thought I'd grab a few. I needed an idea. I mean, I've got a few ideas, but something quick and easy so we can just have a chat. Friday nights, I've got to sort of get on with things because I go and see Liz on Friday night. We catch up a bit. And I'm hoping to get her in a video, like I said, but I know she's busy tomorrow and something's come up for me, so it may not happen. But I finally got someone in a video. You nearly banged your head then, didn't you, silly? She's behaving herself, aren't you? Yeah, well, Danny G, I probably need all those things at the moment. <laughs> I know yogurt is good for you, and I never eat it much anymore. Cat food review. I tried to get her to eat some because she does like yogurt, and she won't touch it. She's turned her back on me. Six of them, and she won't touch it. She's tried, but she won't, she won't lick it at all. Back for the fourth time. <laughs> Good on you, Riley. So I might finish this one off. I think because I like the colour. That's about it. It's the most colourful one. Twisty's cheeseburger flavour. I think I saw that. I don't go into chip oil much, but when I was looking at those... Spag bowl and mac and cheese. I actually saw it on someone else's channel. And I thought they were reasonably new, but it turned out they're a little bit old now. But I actually went to Domino's today and I did a little bit of a video. And you'll know you were here last night, Peter. I said I was going to do a certain video and I actually did it today. <laughs> but I'm not posting it for a few days. Because I'm planning on going live again tomorrow night. And it didn't turn out to be what I wanted it to be, so I did the one I said I was going to do later on. You'll see it in a couple of days anyway. Something juicy. Who does? Yeah, like I said, I only tried those chip things before because I haven't had any chips for years and I'm not planning on reviewing chips and things, but I mean, that's good. It'd be interesting to know what they're like. So I was saying earlier, I might get...
get a next time I do a video and Poppy's in it, I'll get her a little tub of yoga so she doesn't miss tea. Out. <laughs> she really does like to lick the lick the um, container when you finish. I'll get all the little bits out, but she tried to do it on the mango one and she wasn't interested. <laughs> Was the yogurt nice? No, for me it's not nice, Riley. I don't know if you've tried Greek yogurt before, and I didn't actually realise it was Greek yogurt at first, but not that great. What I think I was going to do, what I was thinking of doing, is I'll chuck the ones I don't, I'm not going to eat now. There's a couple of them are still about half full. I'll finish this one off. I'll just chuck them all in that container and put them in the fridge, and have them maybe later on for dessert and chuck something else in them. Dessert flavoured chips. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, sorry, yogurt flavoured chips. I'm thinking of dessert because I was just talking about dessert. Is that really a thing? Yogurt flavoured chips. <laughs> yeah, well, I might, with the rest of this later on, I'll put it all in a container and I'll whack something in there to give it a bit of taste and then it'll be better. Can't say I'll be doing these again though. Yeah, chip trail brazer. Well, that'll be interesting. Yogurt flavored chips. I've got to say, this is probably the most bitter one. And you would—that's again because it's full of blueberries. You can see the bits in it, but it's because blueberries just don't have any taste anymore unless you grow them yourself. Same with the strawberries. Have a look in there if you can see it. Just. A lot of bits in there it looks really good it looks like it tastes beautiful but it actually doesn't so maybe that's why they go on special all the time because they can't get rid of them they taste like crap sour cream is a thing i tell you what that's not far off sour cream what i'm eating here with blueberries in it i'll tell you what i gotta do and why china asked me to do it again i gotta try that Red Rooster fish uh, fish roll with mayonnaise, herb mayonnaise, fish, and lettuce on a roll. I, I actually wanted to try that before he even asked me to do it. Because I want to see... <laughs> I got back at 1.4. I tell you, Riley, I've been at 1.4 three times. <laughs> it went up, down, up, down, up, down. I'll, hopefully I'll, get, I'll stay past it this time. I thought you were going to say you had 300 subs in when I saw that. You probably are 300 of those subs, you know. Anyway, I'm not going to recommend this stuff. I mean, unless you actually like Greek yogurt. I know it's probably good for me, but I'm not going to recommend it. Oh, yeah, it's all right. It was just funny. I was really, I was getting a bit annoyed because I couldn't get to 1400 and I wasn't really doing much about it. And I spent a couple of days just going full on trying to get subscribers, which I did. I got up to 1404 and then I went down to, uh, back down to 1392 <laughs> and then back up to 1401, then back down to 1398 and then now back up to I think it's 40, 1403 but we'll see what happens next <laughs> you got 20 subs I thought you had less than that last time you said you said something about it wasn't that 13 or something so you're going right you got some just post a video mate you'll get plenty Kitchen reno. I tell you, this is not my place. I'm renting here, and I've got to make the most of what I got. It's only a crappy little one-bedroom place, so this is probably the best spot in the whole house. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. It was just that I was trying to get there, like, and I found myself too. When I figured out how to work things and get people's attention and all the rest of it, I once I got to a thousand, 
that was I'm not saying it was easy I'm saying once I got over a thousand getting up to a thousand was easier than once you get over a thousand I've, I've found so far things really slowed down but also they slow down because you've got a um, more people to comment on more people's videos to watch and while you're watching all that you can't go on to new places much so it's a bit of a game I suppose and some people actually do subscribe because they like what you're doing which is good but you know you got to constantly be at it but I'm not too fast it's all happening so it's going better than I thought it would yeah well I only started doing this channel last October and even for the first month because I had another channel going which wasn't going anywhere but I went on holidays last November and decided to get stuck into it and I figured out how to do a few things and was making more content and having sort of a, a theme and a channel like a, a thing to have as a channel like food and everything and all of a sudden I started getting subscribers so I figured out a few little tricks and but like I said the more you get the harder it is to keep up with and keep on top of things and sometimes people just unsubscribe to you you know that, that's the way it is they only want you to subscribe I think we're buffering there but what people don't get if they want you to subscribe to them and you do and you do it you subscribe to each other then if you're not going to watch their videos even once it's pointless having a subscriber like no one's watching your videos so why it, you don't need that subscriber So we're, I don't know if you can hear me, but I think we're buffering at the moment. Maybe it's just this, I'll redo it. Well, my old channel was just doing all random sort of stuff it was nothing really you know it's hard to explain really it was sort of a nothing channel but even if you have a nothing channel you can still get subscribers if you know what to do and how to like you if you go around making comments and all that sort of thing and at that stage I didn't know much about it which probably was a good thing because that way I didn't waste too much time on that one decided to do something else and got stuck into it and did, did it properly so it's all right I know, I, I get what you're saying, I, I've seen Beatrice and I know what you're talking about, but especially since we're doing the vegan thing, I mean, I can't just say to her, oh, Liz, let's just go to KFC and she'll have some chips and I'll have a bloody burger or something like that. It's too hard to do that now because we were doing a bit of that stuff originally and I mean, if there was like a vegan sh takeaway or a vegan place every, you know, couple of kilometers, I'd go and eat vegan stuff with her. <laughs> It's just not, it just doesn't work out, but your old channel got terminated. And I keep telling her people, you know, she makes plans, she did something today and she, she arranged with a friend to do something and then things always happen. So <laughs> I'm, I wanted to come over tomorrow night and do something. I, if I go to her place, the lighting's not good. I mean, I might have a shit kitchen, but she's got a nicer place that she's renting, but it's too hard there's no lighting it's not lit up enough and I have to take the lights with me and all that sort of thing it's just too hard <laughs> oh well I get that too like you can get subscribers from not really doing anything but yeah that's good too but I'm actually trying to work on getting them so <laughs> So, it's a bit of a struggle to eat this, but I am going to finish it. At least I'm not getting too full. How come you're here? I thought, if you can't stand the accent, why are you here? Actually, I thought the accent would be a big draw card, you know, because, but I mean, those days are pretty much gone where people think, Oh, Aussie, Aussie, and all this sort of stuff. Like, I like to hear uh, sometimes 
English accents, like especially girls' English accents. But, and I've commented, I've made comments like that. And, but I've had people say, oh, I love the accent and blah, 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 like that. But it doesn't happen as much as I thought it would. <laughs> Don't worry about Taz Daz. It's not the first time Caligula said that to me. I think last time Caligula said that they didn't like my um, English accent. And then, so I'll tell you a little something, Taz. The other day, a video I made, when I was doing an unboxing that tray. Now, you'd know what a Taswegian is. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's someone from Tasmania. Someone called me on a, in a comment, someone with a blank channel, a two-headed Taswegian. And they said, I thought you were never going to get the bloody thing open. And paying $20, $20 for that thing, I'd expect that from a two-headed Taswegian. They, they commented that. And I left it there if you ever want to go back and look at it. And maybe go and trash that person. And I just commented back, who told you I was from Tasmania? <laughs> what a compliment. Well, yeah, you can put it that way. <laughs> but I just thought, when have I ever said I was from Tasmania? It's like, <laughs> it's like they don't even get their facts right. And they go and make random stupid comments like that. And they don't even know what they're talking about. G'day, high country. What's cracking? We're the second time we've met today. I saw you earlier. Remember I said that looks like a good idea for a video, the fit yogurt in that live. I forget that girl's name. I, I know if I look at it. But um, I only subscribed to her a few days ago and we've watched each other, a couple of each other's videos. Yeah, well, there you go. You were born in New South Wales. I've never even been to Tasmania. <laughs> I would like to go there one day. Chantel's live, that's it. I couldn't remember her name. I knew it started with S. <laughs> but then, Peter, you know how the Alzheimer's going. Now, Peter, saying that about my Alzheimer's setting in, maybe I, I, as long as you're here, you can just let me know what the progress is. Not tonight, but over the, the coming months, how I'm going, whether it seems like it's getting worse or not. Hard case. I think it was funny. What was? What did she have? She made a video the other day, and she bought this stuff. It's an almond sort of uh, coffee. I think it's actually coffee. She said coffee, <coughs> iced coffee. It's an almond drink, and I've seen it in the supermarket. And she drank some of it, and she said how disgusting it was. And I won't repeat what she says, but she seems like well, she is such a nice girl. But she went, it's effing disgusting or something. I went, whoa, never heard her talk like that before. But I haven't watched much of her stuff either. It made me laugh though, I thought it was funny, I didn't expect it. <laughs> but yeah, I was enjoying her life, I just couldn't hang around. I actually had to go and get my car looked at for a rego inspection today. If I don't get onto that soon, I might end up with no car. And then I can't go out and do little drivings and little food reviews in the car. Did you like Tasmania, Riley? Was it good? Because I haven't been yet. Actually, um, something I've never mentioned is Liz's mother is actually originally from Tasmania. She's in Queensland at the moment. <clears throat> she actually lived in Tasmania when she, like when she was a kid. Yeah, I've never noticed that because I think it was the, the second video, which the first one I didn't see any swearing, and when we subscribed to each other... And then when she said that about the drink, and then I thought, well, I have seen it on the shelves, and I wondered, at least I know it's pretty horrid. <laughs> so I said, I'm not, I won't be touching that one then. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes even burgers, everyone can remember, I can't remember what they are, because I'm too busy thinking about other things. i got to tell you, though, it's not a nervous thing anymore. It used to be at first where I was like, I just used to get a little bit nervous. What am I going to do? What am I going to say? And I've actually seen someone I've subscribed to when he cooks and everything. I, I see his hand shaking. I don't know if he's nervous. And I've heard other people say, oh, I'm nervous and blah, blah, blah. I don't get nervous anymore. I just do it now. It's good fun. I actually enjoy it. But yeah, it's not because I'm nervous anymore. It's just because, you know, I just don't know what I'm going to say next probably.
I still haven't seen that Jello guy. I keep looking back every now and then when I, if I see him somewhere and I think, what's going on with him? No more, no more. Like, because talking about food channels, I mean, I've seen quite a few from New Zealand too. And there was some, I can't remember the lady's name, but I've been, I watched her a while ago and I haven't gotten back to her. She's got quite a few subscribers and ads on her videos. I think she might be actually Samoan, I'm not sure, but she's in New Zealand. But she's all right. She does like big mukbangs and stuff like that. Yeah, it's probably not hard to go off. I mean, I know someone I actually work with and he was doing a bit of um, YouTube too and he wasn't doing too bad. He was posting three times a week. I think he does, a, he edits his, edits his videos a lot, but what he does, he can put out uh, like quite a bit, but it's the time consuming thing of his editing and all that. And he um, actually posted a few the last couple of weeks, but that's the first time he's posted for months. So hopefully he's getting back into it because he's a nice fellow and he does a great job of what he does. Ask Kai Country because I can't actually remember. <laughs> it's a shame she's not here because we could just all go to her channel. <laughs> high Country, High Life, will, uh, Fly Life will tell you. See, I can't even say his name. High Country, High Life, I said. It's getting to me. I think I've just been um, going live too long now. <laughs> no, no, I just, I've got the container here. I'm going to chuck them all in there. I only ate, really ate all of two of them, the mango, and what was the other one? Oh, I chucked it in the sink. It's not very good visuals in the sink, is it? And the blueberry, the blueberry was not that great either. And... Um, Seeds, I was saying after you weren't there <laughs> that I didn't realize they're Greek yogurt. That's why they taste like crap. Anyway, I was going to review them. I said, crap, 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 crap. So that's it. All crap. I'll never buy them again, but then I'm not a fan of Greek yogurt. If I was going to rate them out of five stars for taste, I'll give them maybe half of that, two and a half stars each. That's for me because I don't like Greek yogurt. Someone on here and a few people have said they do like Greek yogurt. You might rate them quite highly because you might have a taste for it, but I just don't, don't have the taste for it. Guys, but they're on special, so if you want to give them a go, if you get them on special this week, at least you won't be paying full price. So Have a go anyway. You never know, you might like them. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit bitter. It was actually a lot bitter. <laughs> Some of them were more bitter than others, you know, but... Like I said, probably the mango one of all of them was the best, but as you said, I can always put something in it later on. I'm not too full, and I'll have something probably later. I might have them for dessert later on. I'll put them in the fridge. I could chuck some honey, as you said, or something else in there. I'm sure this or even just chop up an apple and chuck them in there, give it a bit of a crunchy taste. Yeah, well... I went shopping today and I hardly bought anything because I got that much bloody things in a freezer. I, had, I usually do buy some bananas, but I haven't got any at the moment. But yeah, I'm sure I've got some honey there somewhere. Got all sorts of things. But I will eat them because you know, you guys know, like I say, I never chuck stuff out. And they're not that bad, I can't eat them. They're just not great, that's all. I don't know if that'll all fit in. I'll sort it all out later. Might just actually, where's the spoon? I'll just scoop them all in there. And for me, because they don't have much taste, it won't really matter too much if I chuck them all in together because they pretty much taste the same. Tasmania was great. I hope the weather was good while you were there. I think uh, where I live here is probably very similar to Tasmania. Not that I've been to Tasmania. Cold, cold and cold. Although when you live in a cold place like that, and Taz Daz could probably tell you the same thing, it's beautiful in summer because you never get too hot. I'd rather be a bit cold than boiling hot, I think. That's why I could probably never live somewhere like Queensland or Northern Territory. It probably would be nice to live there, but I wouldn't want to be that hot. Even when I used to live in Sydney years ago, sometimes it was so hot, I couldn't believe it. So that's a lot of yogurt in there. 
but it won't go to waste and they're all pretty fresh they had good dates on them so they'll last a while even if I don't eat them today or tomorrow <laughs> Antarctica I'll tell you what well then I'll, my next move will be Tasmania and then you can move to Antarctica then I'll follow you to Antarctica I gotta say I don't want to be that cold Someone commented on here the other day, I think you guys probably know who, who it is, Zombie Nature. They're on here quite a bit. And they were saying something, that, I actually made a comment on one of my videos because I was saying it's a bit cold now and I, that's why I got the tray. I can do things in the car rather than outside because it's a bit cool to be out at the moment. And they commented like how cold does it get here? They thought I meant like extremely cold. And they were saying hey, where they are it was minus 35. I went bloody hell. I could not live in minus 35. Actually, that bit didn't taste too bad. I think that was a raspberry. I must be getting a taste for Greek yogurt now. You want to after six of them. Bye-bye, Caligula. Let's see how long we've been, what's the time? Seven, oh shoot, almost four then. Three more minutes guys and I've got to pack it in because I've got to go and see the lovely Liz. So I'll try and organise something with her for tomorrow but I don't know what she's doing. We were supposed to see a movie and then she's doing something and I'm doing something so again it just doesn't work out. I think when the weather warms up we'll have more chance because when it's warmer we tend to go out and do things but <laughs> we don't want to go anywhere. She doesn't want to come here, I don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Shorts and a t-shirt in Canada. <laughs> Actually, I've seen that. Like you've heard, guys have heard me say, like it gets pretty cold here. And even a few weeks ago, like I said, we had a cover of snow, which I surprised me, like in the beginning of uh, June. But I'm always surprised when I see people around here in winter wearing bloody shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> Most people, and some people get too dressed up. They wear like they look like Cossacks wearing bloody Russian hats and big coats and it's not even that cold some days and I just think you'll never get used to it like that. Anyway, that's up to them. They want to stay in they must really feel the cold, some people. Yeah, I don't know about that, boat cruise. <laughs> not in not in winter, but depends where you go, I suppose. Who said you got to go and see the footy? Actually, I did um, Souths and Tigers play last night. Or are they playing tonight? Actually, I can find out. I'll just minimise you guys for a minute and I'll find out. <laughs> I'll get back to you in a sec. I need to know that one because if I'm going to see Liz and she goes for rabbits and I go for Tigers, I know they're playing this week. I just didn't know what day. Bookmarks. NRL, where are you? I haven't looked at this at it this way for so long. I don't know where everything is in my bookmarks. Dragons are winning. If you I hope you don't I hope you want to know the score. If you don't want to know the score, close your ears. Dragons are winning 12 nil over Cowboys. Tigers, rabbits. Oh Ben, you believe? It? Oh, Tigers won. Can't believe it. Oh, I better not go over there. She might get cranky. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's the thing, though. Sometimes tigers do go all right against rabbits, even if rabbits are playing well. It's sort of half and half, I think, with those two teams. One wins one time, one wins the next time. So that's all right. So full-time, tigers, rabbits. Tigers 14, rabbits 9. I thought it was the main game. It's not. Actually, it might have been last night. I'm sorry, it might have been last night. I didn't look at it now. I've taken it off. Anyway, back to you guys. I'm back. Yeah, last night, I just I didn't look at what day it was. I thought it might have been the earlier game tonight. Although, even if it was the early one, it might not be quite finished. So, I thought it was on last night, but I wasn't sure. See you later, Seeds. I don't know why I'm doing that to the, to the laptop. It should be there. <laughs> I'm looking at myself on the laptop as well.
Where's that thing that says how long? I can't see it now. Oh, 60 minutes. Okay, so we've been going an hour. I've really got to go because I've got to go out in half an hour. And then sometimes too, why I've got to go like before I'm just about to leave because this takes a while to upload, especially when you've been going for so long. So now I've got to wait and wait and wait and then it might be like 8 o'clock and I'm still wait, waiting and then I'm waiting at 5 past. What I can't believe is this cat has behaved herself. <laughs> I think she just wants to be in and comfortable at the moment. I'll put her over here so you can see her a bit. I should have done that. Can you see her? No, can't see her there. Anyway, that was very nice of you to behave yourself, Pop. I'm very pleased. Maybe you can stay in for another one. Yeah, I want to try uh, the cat with the tuna stuff, the fake tuna. So when I do that, for sure, she'll be there because she does like tuna. So she's pretty, that was almost like fake yogurt, and she didn't try that. She normally does like yogurt. So we'll try with the fake, uh, fake tuna. Anyway, guys, thanks for coming in. It's been another great live, and it's really great having you here. I will try again tomorrow night, but I'm not sure what will happen. So I've got a few things that have come up that I've got to do, but I'll try and get that done tomorrow night, see if we can get on... Saturday Night Live, I like doing the Saturdays too. Good old Tuna, yeah, well, Poppy's going to be the tester. <laughs> She'll see if she likes it. <laughs> That's if she's around. If she's out, I won't bother with her, but I might keep her a little bit and see if she tries it. Okay, guys, i got to get run, get on the move, so thanks for coming in, and I'm very happy now my team won too for a change. Anyway, catch you later, and remember, you can never be too Aussie. Huru, Caliglia, you're still here. You're supposed to have been gone. Bye.